boy. Um, feel like I've been here before. So, in case you weren't aware, um, well, if you weren't aware, I'm so sorry that this video title is probably wildly confusing and upsetting. So, for those of you who weren't aware, or need a little recap, it was announced Tuesday evening that Michael Weatherly is leaving NCIS at the end of season 13, which is their current season. It's kind of strange how this whole thing came about because it all started Monday evening when an interview with David McCallum was released and it was super casually mentioned by him that like, hey, Michael's leaving at the end of this season. It was just so quiet and casual and like TV line hadn't picked up on it and Entertainment Weekly hadn't picked up on it. I didn't really believe it until Tuesday night when the official statement from CBS came out and Michael Weatherly tweeted about it. Where do I begin? There's been one theory that came pretty quickly to my mind, but I did not expect it to be as wildly popular as it became within 10 minutes of this news being released. And that is, when will he end up with Wendy? So Ziva. It was just kind of this whole like stomach drop situation. Like everyone was just like, ah. Oh. Everyone's second thought seemed to be, so buddy, when are you going to Israel next? Which I genuinely don't think was meant to be any kind of disservice to Tony or Michael Weatherly. I think people are so genuinely upset about him leaving, but I think him ending up with Ziva would provide like a silver lining for this whole kind of sad situation. Like he's leaving after 13 years. I think it'd be nice to have little, little bright side. So everyone and their mother, including Michael Weatherly's mother, is now thinking about, oh my god, this might involve Ziva in some way, this could be such like a wonderful, happy ending for the two of them, especially because some people weren't that crazy about how they left it with the Ziva, this could provide some closure. I've been seeing this theory everywhere. It's not even so much as a theory as it is a desire. I've seen so many people say that they want to see Tony just kind of drop everything and just hop on a plane to Israel and go be with his lady. And I'm honestly not that head over heels about that. But let me explain. I've said it a million times and I'll say it again. I wholeheartedly believe that Ziva was not just a love interest for Tony in any way, shape, or form. That being said, I also wholeheartedly believe that Tony was not just a love interest for Ziva. One of the problems I had with Whiskey Tango Foxtrot besides the kiss being in the promo, which I'm still angry about. I love Tiva with my very soul, but I do wish we would have just seen a little bit more Ziva being Ziva. Then there's the other popular idea going around that Tony might get sent off with his own team, which totally makes sense. They've been bringing this up since season four, season five. It's a very big Part of Tony's career and I don't think it would be random or out of the blue if Tony got offered his own team and accepted because we did have all that stuff at the beginning of this season where Tony really seemed to want to take charge and he seemed very capable of taking charge and he just seemed so ready for that next step. That being said, there was also some stuff about him kind of thinking about wanting a family or something more than just a career. That's also been going on since season seven, eight. So I guess it even wouldn't be that completely out there if he did decide to go and follow the woman of his dreams. I would so much rather she come back and be like, hey, Tony, let's date. I just think it'd be so strange if he hiked over to Israel and was like, hey, but you thought you'd seen the last of me. In Whiskey Tango Foxtrot, Ziva kind of made it clear that she just needed some time to explore herself and Tony was not involved in the equation at that point. I think it would be 
a lot better if she came back for him. I think it'd make that whole theory a lot more sensible. So that brings us to my dream idea of how this episode would go, which would be Tony and Ziva both ending up with very successful careers and also with each other. Could that happen? Let's discuss. So as of last week's episode, Zoe is officially not in the picture, and they don't really say what ended it, so I'm very curious to see their reasoning, and also who ended it. They did say that Tony would be around till the end of the season, and in my mind that means till the finale of season 13, but that could mean like two episodes before if they want to be real edgy and try and surprise us. I think that with Ziva's departure, there was a lot less time to plan things out the way they wanted to, and I think I might remember one of the people behind the arc saying that they had all these ideas for season 11, and then they had to kind of scrap them and put together this new idea, which isn't their fault and it's not Cody's fault, it's just how it worked out. So I think this time they had a little bit more warning, which I think could possibly result in a better arc. Because when Ziva left, Tony was still there, and there was always that feeling of like, well, she could come back at any second to like be with him, but now he's not there, so they could be off living their own lives for the rest of the series, and we might never see them again. And so it's kind of like every single Tiva scene I ever wanted has to happen in like two minutes. I would just love for both of these things to work out for them. On one hand, they both really deserve these very successful careers, and on the other hand, if they don't end up together, I might fall into a coma. It would just be such a lovely ending to their arc in my mind, and as many, many other people have expressed. I would love to see him be recruited to be a team leader close to where Ziva is. I think that'd be the best of both worlds. I'd love to see Ziva do anything. She could literally go on screen and vomit, and I would still cry tears of joy. I'm- uh, this video is gonna be so long. And um, there's also the concern that it would be super fanficy, like some parts of Whiskey Tango Fox Trot were, but again, I think that comes with the whole aspect of they have rather than two episodes to plan it out, they have like 12, I believe. They might even have more depending on whatever Michael Weatherly told them he was leaving. I really do believe that having more time will be very helpful. I just really can't see them killing him off because even Ziva aside, he still would have this wonderful potential off-screen storyline as a teen leader. He has so much potential. I don't mean for like a spin-off or anything like that. I just mean for the character Tony Dinozo, he could have such a lovely, wonderful future ahead of him if they didn't kill him off. And so now I'm just gonna talk about Tony as Tony and what I'd like to see from him the rest of the season. I enjoyed having the heads up this time because now I could really appreciate his final episodes, whereas I kind of took Ziva's final ones for granted. I'd love to see Tony talk about his future, and I'd love to see Tony talk about his past a lot. Somehow this has brought us back to that other arc. There is some tension between him and Gibbs. A lot of it is just their personalities clashing, and there's really no way to fix that, but there is some stuff I'd love to see them talk through, and I'd love to see them have a real honest conversation. And that's not me saying that I want the super out of character stuff. Like, I don't want them chilling over a bottle of bourbon making some friendship bracelets. I would just like to see a nice, in-character, yet genuine conversation between Tony and Gibbs because they do have that father and son relationship, but it's also very flawed and full of tension. So uh, let's try and work on that. And I would like to see him start thinking about his own team and kind of realizing that he's ready for it and giving himself some real credit and not like the Tony I'm the cockiest human but a nice real yeah buddy I'm gonna be proud of myself today I love some McNozo stuff need to see it someone brought up the fact that Bishop and Tony might get together that would be horrifying um please don't let that happen I'm interested to see how Bishop would react to it because they have not been close for that long. 
but I feel like the bond is still there, even though, again, I feel like she's closest to McGee. I feel like she would miss him. There would be that staple in her life that's kind of gone, which is sad. God help us when it comes to Abby. But I also, on the other hand, feel like Abby might be stronger now than she would have been about it in the past. Like, I feel like she'll be a little angry and kind of sad, but she'll support him in the end. And that is really something I want to see. I want to see the team support him. And I want to see Tony support himself emotionally. Still gotta see Tony kick some butt. You know, I love to see Tony kick some butt. I just really want these final episodes to be a good farewell to his character because his character these past 13 years has been really awesome and it's been such, such an important part of the show. He has such an interesting past and an interesting personality and I just really dig Tony and I genuinely am gonna miss him and Michael Weatherly being part of it. Can you imagine if they pulled an Aunt Viv and just casted another man to play Tony and just went on as if nothing ever happened? Imagine if I walked on screen during season 11 and they were like, hey Ziva, you look paler today. And I was like, yeah, feeling a little under the weather. And then we just accepted it for the next two years and moved on. The sexual tension between Tony and Ziva would probably become a little bit more uncomfortable, but then again, so would everything else. So glad they're not doing that. <laughs> they're not doing that. And another thing that I want to talk about. When Cody left, there was a lot of confusion. And I think a lot of people believed that CBS was trying to push her out. And even though it's still kind of unclear what happened, that doesn't seem to be the case. It, it's all still kind of confusing. But this time around, it does seem very clear that Michael's one who's choosing to move on. And I'm happy for him. That's awesome. He can further his career or spend time with his family or just take time to live his life. It's totally up to him and it's awesome. I think it's very important not to try and stop him from furthering his career. I think if you want to tweet him something, tweet him something positive, like your favorite Tony moment on NCIS. Or even something that's just like, I'm sad to see you go, but I can't wait to see you and other projects and I'm so grateful for all of you and Tony have done for the show. I don't know how many characters that was, you might have to break that up. I think it's just really important to support him and be positive. Just gotta have a positive attitude. I really am gonna miss both Tony Dinozo and Michael Weatherly. I really am sad to see them go, but I do think that they have great lives and careers in front of them. As far as other stuff that's ahead for NCIS, they did announce that they were casting uh, two young people to be on the team as series regulars next season. That is really important and I, I'm gonna talk about it and that really shouldn't just be something that's like swept under the rug with all the other stuff that's happening but right now I do think it's important to talk about Tony leaving. I can't wait to see what's ahead for this season. Um, I think it's interesting especially now that I'm looking at it with the perspective of Tony won't be here this time next season. As far as my expectations, sometimes my expectations just can kind of defy gravity but I've said it before and I'll say it again, I do have faith in the writers. I think they are very talented and I think they love this show and its characters. And I do think they'll try and give Tony the best exit they can. So I'm not dreading this season coming to a close. I'm actually very excited to see what's ahead for Tony this season. Um, I'm interested and excited to see the rest of season 13. So I will continue talking about this throughout the season. Um, I'm sure the next video, the word vomit, will just be spewing everywhere. But I am going to wrap it up for now, and I will see you guys for the next recap and review.